Marcus, uh, you know me. My fighting name is The Fog, and I'll be uh, first up tonight. Originally from Small Heath, Birmingham. And uh, yeah, so we're here now, living in London and fighting for Glove Up. So, start making contact. So, you're always making contact with Glove Up. You know, it's a bit of a weird feeling as. I know other fighters will tell you, it's just, uh, yeah, it's kind of weird. You kind of want it to happen. It's just the waiting around, which is, you know, the hard thing, because you got to, you know, focus your mind on different things and to try and get your, your you know, to just try and stop you from thinking of the fight too much. But then you want to think of the fight, but then you don't want to think of the fight, because, it's, you know, you don't want to get the negative kind of thoughts out of your head. You just want to think positively. So at the moment, I'm, I'm in a good place, I think. It's a bit weird because you train hard for you know five six weeks really hard and a couple of weeks prior to the fight you you really want to get the fight there already you know what i mean because you, you really you're ready you're just kind of tuning up and then you know the last few days is more of a mental thing because you, you're trying to kind of well you want to put yourself in i don't know i mean this is my first you know proper fight so it's weird i don't know how i should be feeling but i just know that you know, I suppose everybody deals with things differently in the way I deal with things. savages man <laughs> that's what we are no, no i mean you know what it is as a lot of people tell you boxing is an art and i love the art i love the art form um i got into fighting and boxing just because it, the, first of all the training was great and then um now i just love the actual art of it that's the, the whole technique and everybody has their own style and putting yourself up against somebody else's style and there is a brutal element to it in terms of you know obviously you've got to hurt people which normally on an everyday tip you, you would want to do but when you get in the ring it's just a different you know it's just a different psyche so yeah but at the end of the day that's that's boxing but in terms of the sport as it's an art form rather than savagery really for me
and gents to the third and final round. I feel good. I feel good. Um, I feel, you know, proud of the guys. Um, it's nerve-wracking doing doing the doing the corner because I, I want to make sure that I'm saying the right thing. And sometimes there isn't anything to say, so I start panicking. But then I can't show my panic, so it's a bit. It's hard. And then you, you get frustrated as well because you're just thinking, just do this or just do that. You're scoring tonight, and the two judges. It is a majority decision. And the winner of that bout in the red corner, Marcus Francis. Man, it was lovely. Man, we won. It was good. Lovely. Man. lovely. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't. He didn't even hurt you. Man. He won every round. Yeah, every round clearly. <laughs> yeah, the, it's, yeah, it just feels the work rate, man. We can, the work rate doesn't, you know, it just feels different when you're in there. Yeah. From, from weird, just not, weirdly. And it just doesn't flow from you, nah, does it? Nah, it doesn't. Don't worry, that's it. It's about feeling I was getting in too much, yeah. you know what I mean? And that was the frustrating thing. Yeah. Because every time I got in, it was like, then you know he's I mean? getting his arms around you, yeah. So that was clear. That was clear that it was you coming into work and he was holding. All that was clear. Yeah, was yeah. Like, cool. Well, well, thank man. you. Well, ah, that's it. That's what we're for. That's it. Whenever you hear some shit and you can't refuse it It's just some shit for these kids to trash their rules with Just refuse whenever they ask to do shit The type of shit that you don't have to ask He was a motherfucking 90 kg Fuck man No matter guy was saying you can't be him <laughs> Was that him? Here's him No you done well, fucking hell
He knocked, he knocked nothing landed my head. Oh no? No, he didn't. He didn't. He, he didn't push he, he, he was gone for it. He, he, he just coming from my body. Okay, right. Yeah. Mine, mine kind of said, yeah. But I didn't expect him to come like that. Yeah. He came. He, he just. He, he came out from the start. Big, yeah. You kept your composure well, though, man. Yeah. I thought you fought very well. Yeah. I've been seeing uh, towards the end. You were catching my lovely jabs. You were. Yeah. You looked calm throughout the fight. Yeah. The, no yeah. point that I trust you. Yeah. You looked like the first fight. Yeah. Mate, but the way he came out of the blocks, man, he came out like a bull. Yeah. And and you just look calm. So yeah. it's for first fight. I put the, and the size in. Huge. Second back round two. He came at me and I couldn't I couldn't catch my breath quick enough and then after that I don't know I, I, like you said he was tiring I saw I saw that he just started tiring and then yeah. I started I started getting the jab and he, his hands were low but I just uh, I guess I should have should have worked hard enough. Nah, that was a great yeah. So let's make some noise for the two fighters.
It was, it was tough. It was tough in there. I didn't expect that. Did it go fast? It went quick, yeah. I mean, b even before the bell rang, I didn't think the fight was starting. It's only when he hit me with the first punch, I was hey, I'm awake now. This is, this is, this is a real deal. Yeah, I, I, thought, I thought we were sparring, tough sparring. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, he hit me some good good body shots, but yeah, it was tough going. I felt, I felt confident. Like, I didn't, I didn't feel like tense or anything. I felt confident. I felt if I can weather the storm, I might be able to pop him in the, like with, with the jab, but he just kept coming. And then second round, I didn't let him come that close to me. I think that was my mistake. I let him come too close. But yeah. Man, you did well. You did well. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> Speechless, no? Spe yeah, done. First fight done. I can only get better from here, so. I feel okay, yeah. I'm, as you said, we, we worked very hard. With yourself, particularly. I mean, we've been sparring for months and months and months on Sundays when no one else was in the gym. What, we, up to 10 rounds, nine rounds, whatever. So I think fitness-wise, like you said, um, preparation-wise, I think we're all there. Um, just hopefully it, co it comes out um, in the fight. But I, th I think of all the training camps we have, I think this is probably the most prepared we've been, the fittest we've been. So hopefully it's going to show. have to take your time and showcase your skills. I, I, I totally agree. I think um, if you go in there and lose your cool um, and get messy, it's, it's not, 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 not the way we've been training. Um, keep calm, but obviously keep pressure up and, and be effective. So hopefully that's going to be the case.
today You were far away No, we got the belt and I knew Carl was going to win that. I had a really, I had a lot of confidence he was going to win that. Marcus did well, Jason did well, Jason had a tough fight. So, all's good. Everyone's improved like, I don't know how much, 100%. 100% from, from when we first started. And it's good to see, because everyone, everyone thinks that, that, um, that white collar boxing is just brawling. But these guys showed tonight, there's, some, there's good skills here and they put the work in, they were down the gym training. That's it, I feel good. <laughs>